just a quick background. I won't take 27 minutes, but just a quick background to um, just maybe set the scene. Um, Steve was one of the judges along with Deke and Ron. So what happened, Anne, Anne Lord and uh, Len and myself had a coffee one morning and we talked about this idea. And, uh, and then I said to Len, God, how are we going to come up with a winner? And Anne and Len and I decided we'd go to the, the big three, to Steve and to Rob and to Ron, and ask them for their first, second and third. But even selecting the field, and the guys that, some of the guys that missed out, missed out were Paul Turgat, who Luke has just said he believes is Kenya's greatest ever runner. Uh, Tadisi, Sahin, Temu, Bedford Foster. It's a long list. Anyway, just let me quickly run through the field runners. And, and Colomain and Hans Colomain, and so he was the Finn that won the first Olympic Games 10,000 metres. He also won the 5,000. Eight years later, he won the marathon. So like Zadapek, all three distances. So Colomain is number one. Number two, Pavo Nurmi. He won the gold medal in the 10,000 metres in 1920 and 1928. He won the 5,000 in 1924. He never lost a race beyond 5,000 metres in his career, unbeaten beyond 5,000 metres, and he won nine Olympic gold medals. Vu Rotola was his great rival, set one of his world records in the Olympic trial, and the other in winning the Olympic gold medal in 1924. He and Lassie Viren are the only two men to set a world record in an Olympic 10,000 metre final. Number four was Emil Zadapek. His crowning achievement was in 1952, four years after he won his first 10,000 when he won the treble. He won the five, the 10, and the marathon. He was ranked number one in the world for seven years straight. He won 38 consecutive 10,000 metre races between 1948 and 1954. He was unbeaten in 38 consecutive 10,000 metre races. Peter B uh, then Kutz, Vladimir Kutz, the memorable race with Puri. He set a world record two months before Melbourne, and he was ranked number one in the world for three years. Peter Bolotnikov, he broke Kutz's world record, but he set another one. He won in, he won in Rome in 1960, the 10,000, went on to win the European Championships, and he was ranked number one in 59, 60, and 62. Ron Clark, who first man to break 28 minutes when he ran the iconic 27.39 in Oslo, three world records at the trip, four times ranked number one in the world in 63, 65, 68, and 69. Billy Mills broke the world record once. He won the famous 64 Olympic gold medal after looking beaten as Clark and Gamudi rushed past him and he came again. He set a world record for six miles in 1965 from the United States. Lazy Villain, the closest to Numi, when his first Olympic gold medal and world record time, he actually fell in the race in 1972. He broke Ron's world record that, that uh, day in Munich. And then, of course, he won four years later. Got the double, ranked number one in 72 and 76. Henry Rono, he was denied Olympic opportunities by the boycotts of 76 and 80. Broke the world record in 78. He also set world records for 3,000 flat, the steeple and the 5,000, all in the one year, all between April and July. Mirit Shifter, third behind Varin in 72, won the double eight years later, ranked number one in the world in 79 and 80. Alberto Kova won the world championship in 83 after winning the European in 82 and then won the Olympics in 84. Had the huge kick. Paul Kipkowicz, the late Paul Kipkowicz, world champion in 1987. What a victory. The surges that he put on in Rome that, uh, that night. He was the world number one in 1987. Halle Gebra Selassie, world champion in uh, 93, 95, 97, 99. Three world records. He's the only man actually to lose the world record, get it back, lose it, get it back. Um, he was number one in the world in 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. And 2000, he went for seven years unbeaten at the trip. And uh, Kenny Bakili. Um, Undefeated, yet to lose a 10,000 metre race. Maybe tonight's the night, Mona. Um, ranked number one in the world six times, and very similar to Gabriel Selesi, has won four world championships and two Olympics. D just finally, just very quickly, 
just what sets a couple of them apart, there have been eight men who have won both the 5,000 and the 10,000 at the Olympics. Six of them have done it in the one. That's Kolomainen, Zadopek, Kutz, Viren, Yifter, but Keeley. So six have done the double, the five and the ten. Only three men have won the 10,000 metres twice and also won the five and ten at the same Olympics. They are Zadopek, Viren and Bikili. Naomi did it but didn't do the double. He did it separately. And what makes Zadopek unique and Viren unique is what Zadopek did in 52, which will never be equal. The five, the ten and the marathon. And Viren, who knows? It seems unlikely that anyone will win a 5,000 and 10,000 in consecutive Olympics. So it's a good field. Um, I think I think Murray would be happy with this field. Well done, Murray. I don't know how you got it together or how Athletic Victoria afforded to get all of those guys on the start line. But Murray can't do not to know why. We Murray can do anything. Murray we can't. Well done. He'll probably tell us afterwards we've left the obvious one out, but that's okay. Um, so here's how the races run. Monas, give us what 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 give us the weather. Uh, uh, what's the ideal weather for a fast race? Oh, it's a typical championship race, so it's a bit steamy in the stadium, I've got to say. It's, it's been pretty hot over the championship and it's cooled a little bit, but the humidity's pretty high, so we're probably looking at sort of mid-20s with high humidity. So it'll be, it'll be tough out there, but um, any that wind? won't hold. No, no, no wind. No, never no, any wind okay. for the 10K, okay. is there? Not allowed to be. So the first half has been run. Uh, 13.35 for the first half, is that okay? Yeah, it's pretty quick. I'll be happy okay. with that. Gee, so it's now, under 66, is there? 60, just over 65. So we're rolling the, along. In the first half, Clarkie's jeweled with the old Finns, blokes that are even older than Clarkie. Uh, Rotola and Numi and uh, Colomain. And Ron's jeweled a bit with them. Uh, Rono and Kip Coach and Kutz have sort of been wanting to go and break them up, but the pace has been steady. zadapek has been in the mix with Bikili. Viren and Bikili have been a bit together. And... Gebra Selassie and Mules and Yifter and Cove have been at the back. So we've had another 3K. We get to 8K. Um, could eight minutes do for that 3K? That's fast. That's right. They're, they're obviously getting going. I thought the pace was solid, but it's, it's Cl- hurting now. So that must be Clark. He's injected that pace, I reckon. Okay. He's keen to get rid of a few, I reckon. So 21.35 at 8K. Is that doable? No, but it is by then. <laughs> okay. No doubt about that. Okay. Okay, so we've got five laps to go. Now, Kutz has taken the lead. So, Kutz leads from Rono. I reckon Clark, he's, I reckon he's worded him up. So, here we go. So, 2,000, they've done 20, Mona, so let's see how we go. So, five laps to go. Kutz about to make the first of the really big moves. Rono goes with him, and then Nermi and Clark fourth. Kip Coach, Rotola, Bikili. Pace really starting to quicken here, if that's possible. Zadopek in the middle of the field, Viren with him, and then Gebra Selassie. Bolnikov next from Yifter, Kolomain and Mills and Kova. Down the back, and now Rono takes over from Kutz, and they really start to dig it in. Kip Coach third, Nermi fourth. Clark fifth, Bikili gets on the Clark's shoulder. Rotola just having some trouble keeping up, and then Zadopek and Viren. Viren trying to improve here from Gebra Selassie. Yifter, Kova, Bolnikov and then Kolomain and the Mills. What do you think, Mullins? <laughs> I tell you, I don't know how you're getting all those names out, but I tell you, I knew it was Rono because I could see his teeth. That's all I know. That's all I'm good for from a distance. So we've got four, we've got four laps to go. We'll, gee, I'm glad you're up here. So four to go. So Rono's leading from Kip Coach, a mile out. That was a 61-second lap. So a 61 second lap, they're sorting them out. Rono leads Kip Courage. Kutz back to third. Clark going well fourth. Nermi back to fifth. Bikili up to sixth. Then Zadopek. About a metre back to Viren and Gebra Selassie. So the big three or four together there. Bikili, Zadopek, Viren and Gebra Selassie. Now Yifter's got onto the back of Gebra Selassie. Rotola, Kova. And then a little gap, Kolomain and Mills and Boltnikov. They've got three and a half laps to go. Kip Courage takes over. Good move. Good move. He loves to pick it up a bit. I wonder what this lap will be if Kip Coach has taken over. They ran a 61. They surely yeah. can't run fast again. He's just slowed the moments. Yes, that's those so Kenyans. They mix it up. Okay, so Kip Coach and Rono. So three and a half laps to go. Kutz third. Varin moves up outside Clark. 
about two metres to Nermi inside Bikili, Zadapek, and then Gabba Selassie, Yif to Ritola, Kova Tax on to Ritola, third last mules, Kolomainen and Boltnikov. So it's about 20 metres first to last. They get three laps to go, 64 second lap. Well, the field is packed up, so we're in it again. That's interesting. I thought they might have strung them out a bit more by now, but we're in for some hell of a finish here. Kutz takes over. What does that mean? No surprises there. Mm. Surges. Varen tries to go with him, so Kutz leads inside the last three. Rono, Varen and Kip Kowich. Clark still well placed. A little gap to Bikili. Behind Bikili, Nermi and Zadapek, and then Gabba Selassie, Yifter and Kova, and then a gap emerges. Ritola having trouble with Mills, Kolomainen and Boltnikov. Down the back, they've got two and a half laps to go, a thousand metres out in the greatest 10,000 of all time, and Kutz trying to do to Clark what he did to Piri. Clark hanging on, Kutz winding it up. Bikili and Varen the next and then Zadapek and Nermi Rono having some trouble here Gebra Selesi starting to move around Rono and then Kip Kowich Yifter and Kova and forget the rest headed by Mills. And this is where it's tough on those, those sprinters. What are they going to do? Can they hang? They've got to hang tough now we're seeing those guys up the front really putting the pace on to get rid of them. What's going to happen? 62 second lap so 800 to go. Clark takes over <laughs> Ronnie Ronnie how, how are you feeling? He's gone too early. Okay, so Clark leads by a metre to Varen, 7.50 out. Clark from Australia, Varen from Finland. Zadapik moves up to third. Clark, Varen, Zadapik. Gee, Tim, I just love saying those names. Um, fortunately, they're not all gone. I can see Ron from here. So he may be the far lap, Clarky. But Clark, Varen and Zadapik. Bikili up to fourth, looks dangerous. And then Nermi and Gabba Selassie. Yifta Kut struggling. Is that... Good? Yeah, no, he's gone. Good, OK. <laughs> Kova, Rono and Kip Kovic. And forget the rest. Oh, gee, who are they? Uh, I forgot <laughs> them already. They've, they've got about 15 world records and seven Olympic gold medals. Of poor They're just throwing them away. Okay. 59 second lap. That's fast. That's, yeah. But that's what they need. That's okay. what they need. OK, so they've, got to, they've got to the bill. OK, here, can I... I'm gonna, you can call it in. Yeah. Call it in. That's great. We're set up for one of the most sit, exciting sit, races. Sit, sit down. Never run, but just we'll down. just sit and watch. If I look at you, I need you, all right? Yep. Okay. You won't look. Okay. 400 out, and Ron Clark leads the greatest 10,000 metres of all time. <laughs> Gee, oh, this is the pressure's on. <laughs> Clarky, I hope you keep going. And um, Ron Clark leads... You heard what I said. Uh, Bikili moves to second, Varen third, and then Zadapek starting to wind up. Gebra, Celesi, and Nermi, and Yifta. Clark, has he got one last kick? Well, he never had one, so where's that last one coming in? <laughs> anyway, 300 out. Clark winding and winding. Bikili to go with him. Zadapek trying to go with Bikili, and then Varen. Gebra, Celesi, and Nermi. Yifta and Rono are beaten. 250 out. Clark just in front. Bikili draws level almost. And Zadapek three deep. And Varen lurks and waits. And then comes Gebra Selesi. It's the big five on the point of the turn. Clark about a half a metre. Bikili. Varen and Zadapek and Gebra Selesi. One last dash for him. The Emperor from Ethiopia. They straighten up. Clark kicks. One last kick. Zadapek joins him. Zadapek and Clark and Bikili. And then Varen and Gebra Selesi. It's going to be close. You knew that. Very close. Varen takes the lead. Bikili joins him. Oh, Clarky, you've done it. Yes, you have. Um, Ron, there, there are two versions. There was one if you didn't make it tonight and one if you did. Now, I've got to say, Lenny's going to sack me. I'll never get a chance to do this again in 50 years' time. But I've just got to have you winning, I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, could you imagine Clark leading Varen and Zadapet and Gebra Selassie and Bikili into the straight? Tim, I reckon I'd take the microphone off you if you had it. Um, who knows? I mean, Zadapet won 38 straight. Numi never lost over 5,000 metres. Bikili hasn't lost. Gebra Selesi unbeaten for seven years. No one in the world would have beaten Ron Clark in Oslo when he ran 27.39. No one in the world. All great champions. Just like the photo we have here tonight. So it's been a bit of fun. 
it's still up for grabs. We've all got our opinion. Tonight, Ron, you're the greatest. Yeah, indeed. Best macaroni. Well done, champ. Good night,